Rita Freiman, your happiness doctor and the founder of the concept 3H food, happy, healthy and hedonic food. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make raw chocolate. Basically, there are many ways to make raw chocolates and you can find all kinds of different recipes. But here I'm going to show you the simplest and the easiest way and the fastest way to make raw chocolate with only three ingredients. So first ingredient that we have to put in is cacao butter. As you can see here, it has a beautiful yellow color. It has a perfect swell smell and it, this is like a raw and vegan cacao butter. It has a beautiful, beautiful texture. Even you can put it on your skin, you know, and therefore you can make a good thing for your health uh, from inside. So we first have to melt it. So in order for our chocolate to be really raw, we have to melt it, not on the high temperature. So the best thing to do is to do it in a steam. So just easily in a steam bowl. Therefore, I have put some water in this spot here. You just have to find the perfect fit. And then you put 100 grams of this cacao butter and just melt it in a steam, in a, on a steam in a bowl. So just do it like this, but just be sure that your water is not going into your cacao butter because in that way, if you put some water inside the cacao, the, the chocolate is not going to be fine. And then you just put it um, on, a, on a fire, just really like easy fire, not too much and melt it really, really easily. If you want, you can actually stir it all the time and just melt it until, until it's completely melted. It would be good for this chocolate not to exceed the 40 degrees Celsius. Once you finish with it, it's going to be like this. So this is like the melted chocolate, you see. So here we have this uh, cacao butter in the form of oil. And uh, once the cacao butter is melted, you just add other ingredients. And other ingredients are cacao powder. So here I have this raw cacao powder and I'm just going to add like 40 grams. You can add even 30 grams on 100 grams of cacao butter, but um, now I want this, my chocolate to be a bit stronger. So therefore I'm going to put 40 grams. Even you can go more, you can even put like uh, up to 50 grams. That's it. And then you can add any sweetener of your choice, liquid sweetener. Today I'm using agave, but you can even put yacon syrup or something different as you like. Uh, here I'm going to put as well 40 grams. So it's easy. 100 cacao butter, 40 grams of liquid sweetener and 40 grams of cacao powder. Like this. And then we just have to stir. So you just stir, stir all the time until your mixture has nothing inside and com is completely nice and has a great texture. There are many ways of making this chocolate. Some people will, will put inside, the, for example, um, coconuts, coconut sugar or other sweeteners. Even some people know to put honey inside, but that way it's not going to be raw vegan anymore. So you just stir, stir, stir. You don't have to put it anymore um, on the temperature. So you just stir until everything is completely melted. You see how shiny this chocolate is? It's really nice. And then what you have to do, you can simply put it in any kind of silicon chocolate mold. I really like the silicone mouth because the chocolate is going out really, really easily. If you overheat your cacao butter, your chocolate is going to be white once it cools down. So in order to get the really, really nice color of the chocolate and the nice temperature, you make sure that your cacao butter is not overheated. Even if you want, in this step, you can add kind of uh, oils like uh, uh, orange oil or lemon oil, oil or peppermint oil, whatever kind. But now we are just going to go for this um, basic, basic chocolate. I'm going to take a spoon and here I have my chocolate malts. 
these ones are hearts, you see. Always make sure to put something under because it's silicone. And uh, if you want to put it in the fringe, check make yourself easier. So put something under. And then we are just going to put this chocolate in the silicone mold using a spoon. And that's basically it. It's really easy. It is much more healthier than the chocolates from the shop because there are no E numbers inside, no artificial flavors, nothing that you don't know how to read on your chocolate. So this is the best way to have the good chocolate for your kids and with only free ingredients. just like this and that's it now you can leave your chocolate on the room temperature or you can immediately put it in the fridge if you put it in the freezer you might uh, get the white spots so the best thing is just to put it in the fridge leave it for maybe one hour or something like that it's going to cool immediately and that's it you just only have to enjoy your chocolate Hello and welcome back. So now we're going to take our chocolates from the fridge after one hour. And here they are in the chocolate mold. You see they are totally finished. They cannot go out. And simply because it's silicone mold, you just easily take them out. Just like this. Wow! One run away. Two run away. Here we have it. Look how beautiful it is. It's a beautiful raw food chocolate. Then what you have to do is just enjoy or use them as a chocolate decoration for your cakes.